Moore investigates an Indiana surgeon is headed to federal court to keep his name from being disclosed to state regulators. The State Medical Association says it's not safe for the doctor to practice medicine because of his alcohol abuse and cocaine use. Well, that doctor is unidentified at the moment. CBS4 Chief Investigator Steve Brown joins us now from the newsroom with more on this. Steve. Hi there, Deb. We originally brought you this story last month. Tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from Dr. John Doe through his attorneys. Now, this is a heavily redacted filing. In it is Dr. Doe's argument against having his name disclosed to state regulators who would then investigate him. Doe claims in the filing the State Medical Association was overzealous and unreasonable when it coerced Doe into a drug evaluation where he allegedly tested positive for cocaine and alcohol use. Doe's attorneys dismissed the evaluation, calling it flawed, inaccurate, and unreliable. The filing adds the doctor is not a threat to patient safety because Doe is not actively practicing medicine. Also, that Doe does not abuse any substances, adding the only thing threatened in this scenario is Doe's reputation. The filing also reveals this much about the anonymous surgeon. Doe and his family are well known and involved members in the local community. Now, under federal law, the identity of anyone who's been drug tested or been through drug treatment is protected. That's why the State Medical Association is headed to federal court on March 1st. The association needs a judge's order to reveal Dr. Doe's identity to the state attorney general and the Indiana State Licensing Agency. We will keep you posted on this story. Steve Brown, CBS4 Investigates. Steve, thank you.